but but before I get, Warren, I want to get you on this though, which is. Um, I, 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 to be honest, I don't care how we get there, but I want more public housing built. I truly do, because there's tens of thousands of people in any one state. I'll go and do the numbers for everyone for tomorrow night, but I guarantee you it's going to be more than 150,000 people around the whole country. If we can build quarantine centres for people from, uh, from COVID and then leave them bloody mothballed um, in places like Toowoomba, we can build some social housing. What do you think? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm on your side uh, in, in regard to this, Paul. Look, the, the housing policy has been dreadful for years and, and, and nothing's really been done about it. You know, you read about, uh, you know, women who, uh, with families and that are homeless now and, and a whole wide range of other things like that. And, and I just cannot believe that uh, a place like Australia, uh, such a, you know, a first world country, you know, a, a top in the, one of the top countries in the OECD and that, and we've got this massive housing problem. Uh, but the, the big story about is also about how has politics changed in the, in the, in the Senate within a week of the, the resignation of Lydia Falk from the Greens. You know, I, you know I, I've never been uh, so much in agreement with Lydia on a number of issues lately and, and with a number of issues with the Greens because the shift of power, and this is what the government's got to face up to, is, is it, it, it's not a walk through the park now about uh, getting their policies through. They have to make some serious changes to the way they're operating. And in this housing area, uh, and, you know, and it, it's easy for me to blame the current government, but the fact of the matter is they are the current government. They've got to, got to deal with it. But it's been a huge problem for decades.